to. My name is Brian O'Hara, B-R-I-A-N-O apostrophe H-A-R-A. I am the Minneapolis Police Chief. I'm with the Assistant Chief, Katie Blackwell, K-A-T-I-E-B-L-A-C-K-W-E-L-L. -L. And Commander Thomas Campbell, T-H-O-M-A-S-C-A-M-P-E-L-L. -L. Commander Campbell is the commander of the Special Operations Division. About three o'clock today, Minneapolis police received a 911 call of a shot being fired inside the building to my right behind me on the 10th floor. As the officers were responding, there were additional 911 calls of shots fired from the location. The officers from the first precinct arrived, went inside the building, and could hear noise that they also believed sounded like gunfire. The officers secured the scene and began to evacuate the other residents of the, of the 10th floor. Uh, our SWAT team also responded to the scene, uh, and during that time, the individual began uh, breaking the wall between his apartment uh, and the hallway, uh, as the officers were also evacuating residents uh, from the 10th floor. The individual then began throwing uh, debris from the apartment outside of the window in the rear of the building. Uh, during this time, officers from our SWAT team and crisis negotiators were able to establish some communication with the individual um, as he continued uh, uh, to throw objects out of the house and intermittently come out through the hole into the hallway uh, from the apartment. Um, eventually, the officers from the SWAT team were able to distract the individual uh, and they were able to deploy a taser and then quickly take him into custody. Uh, the officers then secured the apartment uh, and they did not find any other victims or a weapon inside the apartment. Uh, however, we'll, we are applying for a search warrant to conduct a more thorough search. The apartment is in considerable disarray uh, and the individual, we believe, has a history of mental illness. At this time, he is en route to the hospital. He has a minor injury uh, that we believe was sustained uh, from causing damage inside the apartment. Uh, and the only crime that we have at this time that he would be booked for is property damage. Um, however, the investigation continues. We're uncertain uh, if there actually was any shots fired. Uh, we do not have any ballistic evidence or a firearm recovered at this time. Um, that being said, I'm incredibly thankful uh, to the police officers who responded, to the members of the Minneapolis Police SWAT team that responded. Um, they, uh, they performed uh, heroically in trying to rescue individuals that they thought were in danger of gunfire, uh, as well as using extreme restraint uh, and came up with a, 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 a significant plan to safely take this person into custody quickly. Uh, and so I'm just incredibly grateful to them and I'm thankful that uh, we were able to end this relatively quickly in about an hour and a half uh, with no other persons being harmed. If there are any questions, I'll take that at this time. Uh, Chief a negotiator being called like this, what is the process of deciding when that needs to happen and how it goes? Do you want to speak to that, Tim? Um, it's all very uh, subjective on what kind of a call it is, but we try to get a negotiator in right away uh, to make contact with the individual to see if we can uh, peacefully uh, resolve the situation. I don't have that information confirmed. Uh, I do know he is a resident of the building uh, and he does have a history of mental illness. There was, uh, I don't believe there were any other individual, there was no one else with him in the apartment and I don't believe he lives with anyone else here. Yeah. Okay, thank you.